and the very first stitch of lemon peel is a single crochet so I am just going to do my single crochet but first I'm doing my chain one where I picked up my yellow yarn and a single crochet here and that way I've locked it in I'm going to trim my green yarn I did my first single crochet and I'm going to do a double crochet which a remember a double crochet is done by yarning over your hook going into the, your next stitch grabbing the yarn with your hook pulling it through that stitch you yarn over pull it through two yarn over and pull it through two so that you only have one loop left and then I'm going to go back to a single crochet which you don't yarn over for that you just go into the next stitch you pull up your yarn and pull it through that stitch you yarn over and pull through both of the loops on your hook you yarn over go into your next stitch grab that yarn and pull it through you yarn over again pull it through two yarn over again and pull through two and then we go back to doing a single crochet you go into the next stitch pull that yarn through yarn over and pull through both the loops on your hook Line over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then single crochet and just like the knit we are also doing a total of six inches to make a 60 inch um, scarf you can adjust those lengths if you want it shorter or longer by adding or subtracting uh, length for each space and all the way across I'm going to alternate between our double crochet and our single crochet and the way, the way ours is done because we have our um, number of stitches that we needed in order to do different patterns in the scarf um, we are gonna alternate each row so I'm going to chain one we're gonna flip it you can see here you've got that I'm gonna trim that while we're looking at it and that is done nice and neat I chained one and then I turned it so we ended on a single crochet due to the number of stitches we have so I'm going to start with a double crochet and then go back to the single crochet and double crochet single. so row one is single crochet double crochet repeat and then row two is double crochet single crochet repeat and then you would repeat rows one and two until you are fi are finished so you can see the difference between the single crochets and the double crochets there's a single it's only about 
that tall. While a double, there's two of the bumps across it, so it's a little taller. And that's how we're getting that texture in our lemon peel here. And I'm back on a double crochet. So like if you stop and do something else, you might need to figure out where you are in it. So you'll have to look at the difference between the single and the double crochet. <laughs> of row two. Now I'm going to chain one that gets us our side and then I'm going to turn the whole piece and start working the other direction. And because we ended on a double crochet we're going to do a single crochet into that and then follow that up with a double crochet and single crochet and repeat that all the way across. So another fairly simple pattern, just a lot of repeats and keeping track of where you are in the repeat. is the same as row one. So this is a two row repeat pattern. And this one will end on a single crochet. I'm going to chain one. This is our row four, which is the same as row two was. I'm going to flip and we'll start with a double crochet. And you can see our puffs are starting to form as we're doing this. And so, just like that, after 15 or so minutes, I've already got two inches of our square crocheted, which is pretty good. Um, and I would just keep going to whatever length I want. So, you'll just continue doing the single crochet, double crochet, alternating between it, chaining one on the sides um, until you've got to the length that you want. And then after that, we'll be ready for next month. So I will see you in May for our next stitch, the DC Diamonds. Good luck and thanks for joining.